This Week in Science, we're talking about the James Webb Space Telescope, which has been delighting the world's astronomers with just how well it's been working so far. The fidelity of these images really speaks for itself. But space is a hostile environment, and just seven months into the mission, the $10 billion device has already sustained irreversible damage. A new report from the three agencies that built Webb, NASA, the ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, includes this. See that white spot on the second image? That is the result of a micrometeoroid strike from late May. A tiny but incredibly fast-moving space rock slammed into one of the telescope's 18 gold-plated mirrors, leaving a small but significant dent. You could ask, well, is this a big deal? Well, what it means is, is that light from a star or some object that happened to hit just that little section of that one of the many mirrors, that light will end up not focused in a point somewhere, but it'll kind of be spread out all over the place in our image. UBC astronomy professor Jeremy Heil is part of a team which managed to secure observation time on Webb. He notes that micrometeoroid strikes like this were expected and planned for. The tiny rocks are everywhere in space, and NASA predicted Webb's primary mirror would be hit about once per month, and that's exactly what we're seeing. The report concludes that either the impact in May was a rare event that just so happened to occur in the first few months of the mission, or the telescope is more susceptible to micrometeoroid damage than they thought. The mirror is just floating out there in space, right? So if you think about Hubble, it had like a telescope tube. So if you imagine a meteorite had to go straight down the tube to damage the mirror. But here the mirror is like out in the open. That said, the mirror segments can be adjusted to at least partly compensate for deformations. And even if it suffers more strikes like the one in May, and probably it will, that will mostly affect its ability to see light in shorter wavelengths. And Webb is optimized to see light in longer wavelengths, meaning the bulk of the science it does would not be diminished. It's important to stress that the James Webb Telescope is still performing better than expected in almost every possible way. And based on fuel usage, it should be operational for the next two decades, if we're lucky. I'm not going to, you know, there's a whole, I'm for, this is rocket science. There's a whole bunch of things that could go wrong. And I'm trying to keep, keep happy. With This Week in Science, Curtis Doring, City News.